Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And I've actually, I've had this finished for a few days. I just kind of forgot about it. I put it to the side. I've been building an arcade cabinet. But, um, I decided to put Raspberry Pi 2 in it. And it's running Recall Box. Now the reason I'm running Recall Box is it's easier for the kids to use. Um, this is going to go out in the living room. And the kids will be able to play their favorite SNES games like Mario and Donkey Kong and a few PS1 games that they like. Um, so I've had a few suggestions on what to do with the slot. One was to put a just a cartridge in it so it looks like there's a cartridge loaded up. And I was um, thinking about doing that. Another thing is I recently ordered an Arduino Ultimate Kit. And they're like 25 bucks on eBay. They ship from China and it's going to take four weeks to get here but another suggestion I had was to display which game is playing at the time now I'm gonna try it I don't know if I'm gonna be successful with it but the ultimate kit comes with a little blue phosphorus LCD display that can hook to the Arduino so we'll see what we can do if not I will definitely do the cartridge idea and um, I actually have Staples printing up some stickers right now, Raspberry Pi stickers and Atari stickers. So I'm probably gonna do Raspberry Pi logo next to the Atari 2600, just a small one, you know, not too much. I don't wanna cover it up or anything. But since you saw it last, it's not taped up. Um, I do have the back panel here. This is just a piece of foam, black foam board. I have it taped on there. But as you can see, the USB ports are kind of recessed in there and they sit perfectly. They're not going anywhere. I have my power button is functional. The reset button is not functional, but I wanted to leave it just to have that look. Um, now these are, they came out really nice. I didn't have to cut anything and Dremel anything at all. I used a couple three foot USB extensions and we're gonna open it up now. And as you can see, I just have them hot glued there, and they're not going anywhere. That hot glue is tough. But I mounted the Raspberry Pi 2 in here on a piece of board, as you can see, with some old studs from an old motherboard. And it's very sturdy, stuck in there. I just hot glued the piece of wood to the bottom of the case there. And I couldn't get this rust out. I cleaned it as best I could, but... Uh, nobody's going to be looking inside of it, so I just unsoldered the jacks from a, a non-working 2600 and hot glued them in there, so. On the back side here, we have our HDMI and our power in, which is a micro USB. I'm going to cover these up with some, from the inside with some black plastic. I was going to do the controllers on the back, but the SNES controllers that I have for my children, for my kids, don't have a very long lead, and it's just easier for them not to mess around with the back of the unit. They can just plug them in and out from here. It'll be powered by this 2.1 amp power supply. This is an older one, but it powers the Pi very well when it's not overclocked. And if you are using, now this is a tip, if you're using a separate USB cable and a power supply. And it's not a standalone put together, you know, 2.4 amp official Raspberry Pi unit. You need to make sure that you have a high quality USB cable. Because the big thing is your power supply may be able to put out enough juice, but the USB cable cannot transfer it. You get these China ones that have the thinnest copper wire inside of it and it just cannot transfer the amperage that the Raspberry Pi needs. It'll drop voltage, it'll drop amps, so you need a good high quality USB cable. And while I'm here, I'll show you the power supply that I recently got for my Raspberry Pi 3. I managed to overclock it to 1.4 gigahertz on this power supply. Now this is a four amp power supply. It actually, it's rated at four amps, 
but they're 2.4 amps each. I don't know how that works. And it does, it powers it perfectly. This is made by Black Web. It was available at Walmart. And I caught it on sale for $7. So I had to pick it up. It's pretty big, but it does power the pie with no problem. No rainbow warning at all. And I've tried it with a few different high quality USB cables and I've had no trouble. So right now I'm just gonna set up the camera and play a couple games here on the Atari 2600 recall box. Or the Raspberry Pi Atari 2600. Okay guys, so I actually have a little helper here. Say hey. Hi. And she's gonna hook this up and play a couple really cool games. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So she just needs to plug her controller in, make sure it's plugged in correctly, and it looks like that from here. Now you need to turn the power on. Which on the Atari. Oh yeah, this. Right there. Remember? Yeah, just turn it on. So I loaded up a few games here um, for her, a couple of her favorite games. She's just going to play a couple of them here. And I kind of wanted to get the Atari in the picture, so. Whatever you want to play. Remember it's the yellow button to select, we changed it. Yeah, B. Yellow. B. I don't think you want to play Legend of Zelda. Play, uh... Remember start button, the middle start button. Yep. Press it. Press the start button, honey. You're gonna have to press it next time too when you choose which game you wanna play. You wanna play part three, Mario three? Mario one. Mario one. Okay. Start. This. Yeah, press the start button. Oh, this one? The start button. The middle. Yeah. Remember? Oh, yeah. Press the start button again. Yeah. Jump for that Goomba! <laughs> she don't need mushrooms. She's too good. You can make it. No! Oh! Right in the hole. Uh, okay. Oh, you want to play that PlayStation game you like? No, it's just I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again. Okay. All right. There's a mushroom in one of these if you want to get big. I don't want to be big. I just want to be little because I'm that size. Okay. Oh boy! Oh my god! Oh my god! I need to jump back. Oh. She's been playing New Super Mario World on Wii U, and she's got 80-something stars by herself. Oh! You're way better at the newer games. Press start, start, and select the two middle buttons. Well, I just... We're going to try a PlayStation game now. One more try. All right. You're only four. For six years, I've been playing this. Okay, you've been playing it for six years and you're only four years old. Yeah, but it's just, I, I'm so good at it. Oh, that's right, yeah. I oh, forgot. Because I love it.
Go, 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 go! Oh, man. Go! Yeah. Get out of there! Come on, beat this level, baby. You can do it. You're almost there. Go! <laughs> Let's try one more time. Okay. And that's it. Now we can play. play so on Re Recall Box, the uh, SNES works great. PlayStation works great. NES, Sega Genesis, Neo Geo, FBA, all of those work really well. And I have a bunch of games loaded for them. So they should have a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because I have a lot more coming. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And what do we say, Jordan?